here's that comment that I mentioned in the previous video. Bull split. Spit. I see Palestinian and Israelis always arguing on on pu ah, arguing in pub public streets. What are they arguing about? Israelis are arguing saying that Abraham was promised a land and they are forcibly moving people out of their lands in Palestine who have been living there since birth or have who properly own the pro the land through our current through their current governmental system. But because of a promise of a book that is not historical, these people are trying to remove them from that land. You would fight too if someone was trying to remove you from your land. Imagine, if you will, if the Native American community came and said that this land is American land, this land was our land. It was stolen from us by the colonizers, and therefore we want that land back. And they started coming to your home and torching your homes or kicking you out of your home and invading your home. Would you not stand and fight? Of course you would, because you have paid money. You have went and got a mortgage, and you owe money to that mortgage company and to the United States government in taxation for that land. You would argue and fight to say that you have had that land for generations. The same way the Palestinians are complaining about the Israelis who are coming and trying to take their land. Now, in that country, whoever has the most power is going to win. Whoever has the military is going to win. Whoever has the government is going to win. It has absolutely nothing to do with your Bible or the Quran as who's going to win. But that is not the same as what you have made this comment about. That video was talking about the fact that Christians are the ones who go around trying to force people into their religion. They're not trying to force anybody into their religion. They're fighting over land rights. So then you go on and you say, I barely see Christians down here in the uh, in the Bible Belt promoting. Oh, you certainly didn't see my other video, hopefully. Well, hopefully you saw my other videos. Because as I explained in that book, you drive down I-75, I-20, 85, 95, you see plenty of billboards talking about Jesus, 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 Jesus. You go to any martyr station in Atlanta, you see plenty of people standing out there trying to get you to convert over Jesus. You see people standing on the corner with their big old speakers and bullhorns trying to convert you over into Christianity or Hebrew Israelites. They are pervasive as all get out. They're standing in front of supermarkets trying to hand you pamphlets, walking down the street, knocking on your doors, trying to hand you pamphlets and tell you about the good news of Jesus. It is heavily promoted in the in the Bible Belt. I don't know what part of the Bible Belt you live in, but I know that as I have driven and dr driven around uh, the southeast i see plenty of your jesus promotions throughout the southeast uh, but then to continue y'all some liars it's always about other countries and their religions trying to tell americans what they should be doing about their countries and state also and the state also clearly says that there's a separation of church and state okay I need you to learn how to put periods and sentences in, in your in your writing so that we can tell when you've stopped the thought and when you or when you continue on with a new thought. But anyway, so this is the microcosm to which you're looking at the world through, through your lens of the microcosm of America. First of all, America is not a Christian country. Yes, there were Christians who came here and Christians came here for religious freedoms. But now you will want to deny those other immigrants for coming to America for the same religious freedoms to which your possible ancestors came to the Americas for. So you want them not to have the freedom that your ancestors have, which has enabled you to live in a, in a country where you have the right to worship whatever you desire to worship as long as it doesn't violate any state or federal statutes. Because go out in the middle of the street and try to sacrifice some animals, as your Bible says in the Old Testament, and let's see what happens. The reason why you don't, because you know that you will be put in jail for animal cruelty. Let's see if you can go and, you know, in, in Virginia, they still have on the blue laws that you can take your wife to the courthouse steps on a Sunday and beat her with a whip that's less than 12 inches long. I want to see you go try and do that. You won't be able to. I want to see you sell your daughter into debt slavery or sell her off to some man and when he pays a dowry as a wife. I want to see you try to do that. It's in your Bible. And remember, your Jesus said, I come to take not one thing from the law, not one tittle that he came to fulfill, not to abolish. So before you go Old Testament, New Testament, now we have Jesus and Jesus got rid of the law. If Jesus got rid of everything in the Old Testament, then Jesus is not your God. He is not one with God. But we'll continue. Separation of church and state. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to have, which is why on the videos when people are trying to invoke Ten Commandments to be posted in every school, in every classroom, in every school, then where is the separation of church and state? When is that? If you're going to allow the Christians to post the Ten Commandments, then allow the comedic science people to post the 42 Confessions of Mayotte. Allow Muslims to post whatever thing or documentation that they want to post. Allow the Satanists to be able to put up their statues and, and their rituals and their 
their rules and their laws allow every other religion to post whatever they want to post if you clearly want to say separation of church and state but you know you don't you what you really mean is separation of any other church other than christian and state but you want the state to support it but that's why we do not live in a theocracy as there are in some countries but as most countries are not theocracies only a few countries are theocracies and if you talk to a person who is a true muslim they will tell you that the current countries that are theocracies the islamic countries they're not true theocracies in the way that they were supposed to have been set up but you might not know that because i don't know how much time you spend studying other countries because it seems like your worldview is only an american worldview and then you continue to say that you have to go to the government and talk to them about religion religion and everything i have told those jehovah witnesses i'm not interested and they leave me alone that's good did you know that within the jehovah witness process that if a person or a household consistently tells them to walk away from them leave them alone or they argue with them after a certain amount of time you're put on a list and they will stop coming to your house they will be instructed not to come to your house because you're an apostate and they're not going to deal with you anymore same things with the mormons if you continue to do that with them they will stop coming to your house it takes a while it takes a, a good while but i too am on the list of the jehovah witness to never be bothered by them or the mormons and that's because they consider me an apostate now you say that you have to go to the government and talk about the religion in most countries you do not and even in the arab countries they have statutes that are based on religion but you do not have to go to the government to talk about anything that you want to do that is a very vague and unfair and <laughs> uh, unsubstantiated statement sir but you say they leave you alone good because you say it's no different than people spamming vi spamming videos on TikTok trying to get me to buy their bullshit anyway Godspeed on your search for knowledge or should I say in your search for that door to my wallet when have I asked you for anything first of all <laughs> I post my videos and they my videos are for people who are deconstructing from religions and for my children to have my information they are not trying I am not trying to convert any Christian to not be Christian anymore y'all see it as that way because you want to be the only voice that is heard you don't want anybody to be able to speak other than you you don't want anybody speaking against your religion you want only your purview your narrative nar nar narration of, of of your religion to be the only one that is heard but sorry we live in a country where you have freedom of speech to a certain extent and that extent does extend to me being able to make as many videos that I want for the audience to which I'm trying to reach but I'm not trying to reach you and as far as your wallet I don't even ask my people to give me anything as a matter of fact only thing I ask them to do is share the video share the video I ask the people on TikTok to go over to my Facebook page and share the videos and watch the videos over there. I don't ask you for nothing. Have I asked you to send me money? No. But you know who asks you for money? Christians. Go to church. They're going to make sure that offering plate get offered, get put out there. You know who consistently asks for money? Christians. Pastors. I need a new jet. I need a new plane. You know what? Hold up for just one second. Let me show you something. I'm just going to put this right here. I don't even have to say nothing to her. Do I even have to say anything? Do I have to say a word? I don't believe I need to say a word. I think it speaks completely for itself. And if it doesn't, then you have a problem. And that problem is not my videos. But you have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey. Good vibrations.